If you need to access submission files offline instead of viewing them directly from the Dropbox to Document Viewer, you can download the submissions to your computer. You can also leave feedback in the download submission files and upload the files back to the Dropbox folder in the form of attachments. Files are attached to each of the user's uh, submission. Now you should know that this will not grade the submissions automatically but will attach a marked up file to each student's submission. This tutorial is specifically for performing this task on a PC. If you have a Mac computer, please review the tutorial on reviewing on doing this task on a Mac. I'm going to click on Submission Review tab on the navbar, click on Dropboxes. I'm going to click on the name of the uh, Dropbox to view the submissions. I'm going to click the checkbox, top checkbox next to Download to select all of the files. I'm going to click Download. A pop-up window uh, creating a zip file will appear. Click on the name of the zip file and then you should be asked to save the file. Do not open the file, save the file. Make sure you click Save. Then click OK. If you're asked where to place the file, put it someplace where you'll remember. If you're not asked where to save the file, it's more than likely within your downloads. Click Save. Go ahead and click close the pop-up window. Now what we're going to do is navigate on your computer to where the zip file was saved. Again, if you're not prompted to where it's saved, it's most likely found in a downloads file. In my case, I have it on the desktop. I'm now going to right click on that file and I'm going to click extract all. And then I'm going to click extract. An individual folder with each student submission will be seen. Note, do not change the name of these folders. The next step is now if you want to mark up the files, you can do that. I'm going to double click on the folder and I'm going to double click on the submission. In this case, it's a Word file. Again, depending on the file type, you may be able to electronically mark the files up. Word, Excel, PowerPoint all have a review tab where you can add comments. So I'm going to click Edit. And this is again in all the Office products except for Access and then I can go ahead and make sure you save the file do not change the name of it and close that navigate to the next folder of the student double click on their file name again it should bounce up Word in this case since this is Word I can then choose, click next to the thing and add comments again make sure you save it and close the file now go ahead and close that folder submission now what we need to do is after marking up the files you need to zip up the folder and upload them upload them back to my courses what you're going to do is not on the zip file but on the folder that was extracted you're going to right click and you're going to go to send to and click compressed zip folder this is going to create a zip file with the same name that with the file it was downloaded but it should have a number two in parentheses next to it now I'm going to go back to my courses and you should already be uh, still be in the submissions of the Dropbox. Click the Add Feedback Files button. Click Upload. What you want to do is select the zip file with the number 2 in parentheses. Click Open and click Add. You'll see a, a, a processing window will appear. When it disappears it has uploaded the files and attached them to the student submission. And you'll get a confirmation. Now, you should know that again, your files have, the submissions have still not been graded. So now I need to click on the files to open them up. The viewer will come up. When I scroll down, you'll see that this is the file that's now attached that has my comments in it. I can go ahead and now put a grade in if I want. And if you want to see this file that does have an attach, does have my comment in it, I'll click there and the student's going to be able to see my comment within the file that I just uploaded. I can go ahead and click publish and that'll push the grade to the gradebook. I can go to the next student and again I still have to grade it so I would grade the student and then I would click published and again you'll see there's the file with my comment on it then click back to the folder submissions to get back to the folder submissions and click the folder list breadcrumb link to take you back to the Dropbox folders.